what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Second and ten now. It's Roethlisberger. Under pressure and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. They said there was a lot of discussion in their defensive team meeting room after last week's performance. They had seven sacks. Something in the water. There's one in the first quarter. A lot of discussion, a lot of excitement because now everyone wants to get involved with this. Who's going to continue that process? Who's going to get to the quarterback this week? But they have to be careful. When you have no back out now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A fake to Bell. Now it's Roethlisberger. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Now Roethlisberger on first down. His throw incomplete. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the throwing football. And he comes back with one complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver. <laughs> we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously, they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Ben to throw again. And he's got Rome. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. Again on second and 10, it's Roethlisberger. This will be caught just inside the 10. And here he'll get it down to the 7. That catch good for 5. It's third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Roethlisberger will stay out there, and they're gonna go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Roethlisberger. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. Now 
comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Roethlisberger hooking up with Brown to get the Steelers a first. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. That's complete. It's Bell. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers' field goal try. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. In just two minutes' time, don't forget, we'll get you to Orlando for our halftime report. To bring it to you, who else but Larry Ridley? Now that man knows his football. Go get him, Larry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Roethlisberger got to get his guys to the line as quick as he can. They go play action now. Roethlisberger. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. He's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete here. And the Steelers set to take the field. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's James. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Wide open receiver complete. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. To throw again is Roethlisberger. And he floats one there incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown. But I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Second and ten. It's Roethlisberger once more. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. 
And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. Fourth down. Here's Roethlisberger. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Martavis Bryant as the first half is winding down. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Dobbs is throwing. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. To be prepared for some change-ups, we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. He's got his man on the crossing route. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play there. His third touchdown of the game, number 11 on the year. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. 